Welcome to our 29th and final video for our Quick Strike series of videos in February. Uh, thanks again for taking the time to watch uh, our new releases this month. Uh, this will be the last one for uh, at least a couple of weeks until we have some uh, new stuff to show you or we come up with some other topics. The goal was to uh, get uh, a video a day per out in February to get everybody caught up to speed with all the functionality available in Quick Strike and then we'll start covering some of the other sections that we uh, aren't necessarily part of the pro license later on so you can get an idea of what's available out there uh, for some in other subscriptions or as some just additional requests within a particular subscription okay so uh, let's get started um, before we get uh, to our last uh, item that we're going to cover let's just remind ourselves we're in the market dashboard in the product overview and we landed in the interest rate product group us rates and we're currently on the euro dollar product uh, again, we set that as our favorite product in the My Account section. So when we log in the first time, we land on this group and this product. Okay, so today what we're going to do is cover uh, the portfolio manager uh, in the risk tools. Um, the quick risk tools are also available. We're in the midst of working on these a little bit, so we're uh, not quite ready to do some videos. This is sort of the default uh, available tool for managing uh, your risk within uh, quick strike these are the more robust and advanced versions uh and you know this is we call this old here because we're probably going to deprecate it but there are still people who like it and use it and these will take the place of uh, of the main portfolio manager so uh but let's um i wanted to cover this because people do like it and people do ask questions about it so we'll we'll get over there and take a look so so right now we're in our sample portfolio you see there's nothing there uh if i wanted to do a new portfolio i can create a new portfolio type in a name and say add and it would show up in the list um, if, uh, if I had any information in here, I can view it. I can also delete this portfolio. So let's just delete it since we start over might as well. And let's do a new, and let's just call this, uh, you know, a test portfolio and say add. And there we have, we see the test in the portfolio menu bar up above. Okay. So, uh, let's, um, let's add some, let's add some, uh, option positions to it. So let's, uh, Here's our list of, of symbols that, that are available. So let's just keep it simple and go into uh, the June contract. And you'll notice that um, what we can do is we can pick any any uh, product group in here and then within that product group, any product, all right? We could also add an underlying position uh, to this portfolio uh, as, we, uh, as we add our option positions as well. But let's just start with our option positions. Let's just do that. Let's add an option. It's pretty simple. Uh, let's add another option. Okay, so let's just do 100 of these, 100 calls, and uh, let's do 100, uh, 100 puts here, and let's change this to uh, the, uh, let's go to the 90, so we do basically a long strangle, and I say save, and here's what you're going to see. You're going to see um, in June, you have a total of 100 calls and a total of 100 puts. Here's your total delta, your total gamma. So this is not really a risk analysis tool. This is a tool to just keep track of your book of trades, and you can see your overall total Greeks uh, that uh, that are available for, for your review. Okay. Now, if I want to, you know, view this, I could pop open this window, and it's going to show me the details associated with uh, uh, with the portfolio. Okay. And uh, again, I can. Uh, uh, I can get rid of it if I don't want it, or I can come in here and edit this and and uh, and get rid of these contracts here as well within this June expiration. But while we're in here, let's just add some uh, let's add some another let's add some September contracts. Let's add an option, and now let's just do 500 straddles, okay? And I'll say save. And now what you'll see is there are both expirations are in the table here. So now we're getting a total across all expirations here. So if I want to pull the September out, I can pull the September out. And I'm only going to see the September, uh, only see the, the June. And I could put that in and do check and uncheck the June. And now you'll see that there is a matching. So uh, this is a nice way of tracking aggregate Greeks. Okay. And you can see your total positions. You can always see uh, a particular product's detail here. If I click that open, it's going to show both um, both positions in uh, in June and September, as well as the underlying position that you have here. All right, and it's going to show your total uh, and your total Greeks. Okay, so let's uh, let's continue to do this. Let's um, let's add a ten year, a couple contracts there, and let's go to uh, the April contract and let's add uh, two strikes here, and let's go uh, 130 and 131. All right. And let's buy a thousand 
puts and a thousand calls All right save that and now you'll see that this What's very nice about the portfolio manager is you get a summary of uh, all the products that you have uh, within this group. So it's uh, it's a real nice way to get a, an aggregate uh, uh, look at, at everything that you you have from a position standpoint. Now, what are some of the what are some of the reasons why we we uh, are moving toward the the tools up here that we call in quick risk? Okay, it's because if you uh, for instance, if I want to let's edit. Let's edit and say, let's edit to June and say I did 400 more June puts. So now you actually have to go in here and do the math yourself, right? And then you could save and now you'll see that it has changed over here. So you have to do the math yourself as opposed to, and there's no way to take a trade strategy that you built and pop it in the portfolio where there is ability to do that in the quick risk, which which I'll be glad to show you once, uh, once we have that interface uh, uh, to the point where we like it again after some of the refurbishing that we've done. Okay, so uh pretty pretty simple pretty straightforward look at the at the portfolio manager here again we could click go, click open this product detail and you're going to see we're seeing only the euro dollars because i clicked on the product detail link for the euro dollars and i can click on the product detail here and see that just for the 10 year okay and when i click on view it's going to show me everything right so you can get an aggregate view of all the products that you have with uh, the top level view menu, or you can get the detail for that particular product as well. And the last link that I'll show you for both of these, I can click and I'll show you the settlement comparison detail. And what this is going to do is going to show you um, where uh, where uh, where the call settled versus the prior settled prior settle. So you can get a little bit of a, a change in P&L for each of these. Uh, you, the, the thing is, you can't change the price when you enter them in the first place. But if you're doing everything from a settlement based standpoint, once you have the position, you can track your P&L on a day to day basis. So uh, some some pretty good solid things there. It's a little little bit more difficult to add the add the positions because you got to do the math yourself as opposed to just being able to put a trade and say trade it and and have it show up in there. Which again, like I said, we'll we'll show you in the other tools when I when I believe they're ready for for you to see with the with the new additions that we've made. But in the meantime, play around with uh, Portfolio Manager, and uh, I think you'll find it very useful. We used it for years and years uh, until we finally had the opportunity to build um, to build some other tools uh, that we thought would be more uh, more more up to date and more seamless with how you people are thinking about they make a trade then they put it in a portfolio they make a trade put it in a portfolio but again if you're looking to track and and do some aggregate risk this is a great way to do it and it's very very popular uh, as it's been around since the inception of quick strike you know almost 10 years ago so um thanks again for for watching you've uh, uh been looking at the portfolio manager uh video and uh, we look forward to your questions uh, if you have any, please feel free to uh, come over to the support section and send us an email uh, with a request. Or if you have, uh, you want us to get in contact with you, or you know you see something wrong, you want to report that, or you have a suggestion, we're always glad to hear from our user base to see if there's anything that they'd like to see or anything they'd like to see us do better. So thanks again, and we really appreciate you watching these videos. We'll see you shortly, uh, probably for a video or two in March. But until then, take care and have a good one. Bye bye.